Welcome to Bone Slicer's Unreal Tournament 3 video tutorials. Today I'm going to try to teach you how to do step by step uh, and actually creating an outdoor water uh, uh, water material. And uh, first thing I want to do is you have to download the water textures from help.hornses.com. That's h e l p dot h o u r a n c e s dot com. And once you download these materials, I'm going to extract this to this folder here. Then you extract the folders to a new folder that you create on your desktop. And inside the folder, you will see a simple plain mesh reflector dot. You won't use the reflector in this tutorial. You see different things. The water normal is what you, you'll start off using. But you'll want to import most of this. So we're just going to, I'm going to rename this folder here to uh, outdoor water and like I said you can download this from that website and then you'll be able to do this tutorial this is the materials you'll, you'll actually need okay now the first thing you're going to need to do is import the uh, the actual static mesh to simple plane so what you want to do is bring up your generic browser make sure you have static meshes and materials and texture checked okay now what we want to do first is right away. we're going to go file do it this way import go to desktop and we've got to find the new outdoor water right here and we're going to import this simple plane static mesh. We want to import that first. Well, actually, no, let's don't do that first. Let's do the materials first. Let's import the water normal TGA first. Now, on the water normal, and we're going to import this to call my package, and this is going to be materials. Material, just material. And on this one right here, uh, we don't want any compression on that uh, particular material here. We don't want to compress it. So we defer the compression on just the water normal. We check that and click OK. And it should take a second, but it's doing it here. There you go. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I, uh, let me see, let me import this again just to see something. And I want to show you, when you import, one thing you want to do is, I didn't do this, is make sure you create material on import. So let's do this one more time, and we'll just overwrite the other one. Click yes. Okay, so now we have our uh, water normal material here. Now let's go ahead and import some more here. Let's you import the dots. Click open. Now on the rest of these, we're just going to create material, and that's going to be it. Okay, file. We're going to import again the sky reflection. We're going to skip over reflection, reflect TGA. We're not going to do that one. Okay, we'll see. Create material. Click OK. It's already got the name up there for you. Okay, we're going to go again. Import waves. Click OK. Create material. Click OK. All this is going to be in my package, which will be in your map. Now that you've got that imported, now we need to import the static mesh, static mesh for these materials. So now we need to import this static mesh, and this is not going to be a material. This is going to be a simple plain mesh, and this is going to be static mesh group. 
and so we're going to put in static mesh with no spaces okay and this will also be in my package all right just click OK now now that we have everything imported we're going to go down here to the bottom uh, first I think first we'll build all let's see build all and save save current level and you see that little asterisk down there you need to click on that and you need to click file save you always want to update that there you go now once you've done that you see all your materials and you're here your static mesh simple plain mesh is here now what you want to do first is go ahead and take your simple plain mesh your uh, let's uncheck well let's just click simple plain mesh right here highlight it and right click on the terrain and click add actor add simple plain mesh and there you've added it now right now what we're going to do is go over to the water normal uh, material that it's actually created and then we're going to go to simple plain mesh so we have it highlighted and right click on it go to its properties and by left clicking static mesh actor expand that expand static mesh component let's go all the way down to the bottom where you see materials and if you take into the right of that you'll see add button and it's already there highlighted so you click the add button and I'll say none so click the arrow to use that and see it added it in there now that we got that used that now that we had that in there now we're ready to start actually creating that material so let me build on save Okay. Now that we've built all in save, got that knocked out of the way, we're just about ready to open up our material editor and start doing this. Now the way you get started is you want to double click. Let me click save one more time just to make sure. You want to double click on your water normal. Uh, now if that comes up, you double click on the other water normal one right here which water normal mat okay instructions material instructions okay double click that once you bring that up once you double click on that it's going to bring up your material editor and you're going to see your water normal serial now if you left click on the top there and you take control and whoops all right you gotta be careful of that take your mouse hold both buttons and you can drag if you need to and the way you get a maneuver around here you can take control hold down control after left clicking that and pull that over where you want it and you see it's already connected there now I can take my right mouse button and I can do in circles just by holding my right mouse button down and my left mouse of course pans a little bit different almost similar but both buttons go in and out and then you can take and release the left button and just do your right mouse button which is pretty cool uh, and basically on the, here's all your material expressions on the right hand side if you scroll up and down these are all the expressions that we're going to add to make our material uh, first thing you always want to make sure you do you want to always see whether it's unchecked there make sure you check that make sure that's updated go back over here and your actual package where the asterisk is and always we need to do this continually click save file save update that the whole time you're making this material if you don't you're going to end up having problems and I'm over 10 minutes so that'll do it for material lesson number one importing the material